G'day guys, how are we all today? We've got a special little segment today. This segment is Discover with Rusty. So we're gonna discover new things. New things Rusty and Kim gets. Let's not hold you up. We're getting a new helmet. Me in particular. Kim will probably want one later on now on her. But anyway, this is the old helmet. Now that is the old helmet. I was running an old one. Not a bad helmet, does the job. It's an N87, but I've always found it just a little tight. I mean, I know it's gotta be fairly tight, but not probably quite as tight as it was. But the main reason is this bit here. There's not enough gap here between uh, my tin and the front of the helmet. But apart from that, it is a bloody good helmet. It's got a pin lock on it. Um, but it's not set up perfectly. It has got ear, it has got ear things in here for Bluetooth. They're not real big. So I did struggle to get the center in there. That is the new helmet. It is the Simpson Mod Bandit. Why mod? Modular. I've gone, yes, I've gone across to a modular. Yes, I know, a lot of people don't like modular, but we're gonna give it a go. I did have one quite a few years ago and didn't mind it. So anyway, we'll open up the box and we'll have a look. There we go. One helmet, yes, all bad. It's in a cover. So anyway, we'll take her out of the cover. Not a bad looking cover, just normal cover, I guess, for a helmet. There we go, one Simpson mod helmet, matte black. As you can see, I've already uh, put my Bluetooth cradle on there. If I can't talk to Kim, I don't talk to no one. You know what women are like. So this is not a bad helmet, actually. I haven't taken it out for a spin yet, but we will take that out soon. It is pin lock ready, does not come with a pin lock. A visor, of course, and we also have sunglass visors, or whatever you want to call them, which I quite like building to a helmet, especially if you get caught of a night. Um, if you've got that smoke tint visor on and it starts getting dark, everyone would know how hard it is to see at times. So very good indeed. Lift them up, bang. Like I said, it is a modular, so it just lifts up here. One good thing about this is it has steel um, locking mechanism. Some of the other helmets have got, um, what do you call it, plastic ones, so they're not as good. Now the visor is quick release. There is a little locking button right there. You've got to push in and turn. So on the previous Simpson helmets, I think, they never had that little locking button, and apparently they would come loose sometimes, but that actually locks it in. Already got the GoPro mount on it. We've got vents at the back. Two vents at the top, which open and close. And we've got a couple of vents here at the front. Don't know if you'll be able to see them. They get operated by a couple of little slidey things inside there. So, what do I like about this helmet? Right, between the chin and the front, there's a lot more room. So any motor vloggers out there will know that you need to get that mic away from your mouth just a little bit, so that helps there. Although the setup I've got for Kim and I is a little bit different again. Another good thing about it is it's got reflective reflective bits on there. Hopefully no one will ever see that because if they're saying that, I'm probably off the bike on the ground, so hopefully they'll never see it. Uh, a D-ring shackles instead of the slide ones. In here, the good thing about this helmet is it's got the ear wells for the speakers which are quite big. I've never seen quite so big on a helmet before, which is good. It lets you move it around uh, in there. And also it's got little channels to run the cables through, which is really good as well. They've got nice big ear wells for the speakers and they fit, the center ones fit in there perfectly. They're bigger than what the center speakers are. So that's very good. Very comfortable. Um, I'll put it on, I'll show you, hey. Right, so that's it there. Now, 
I know some people don't like mod, mod helmets, but this is for me, not for you. And there we go. All locked up. I don't know if you can hear me there. It's got a nice little, nice little tin thing there. And it is a nice comfortable helmet. So anyway, we're going to take it out on the road and we're going to give it a burl. So we'll catch you out on the road. Okay. Welcome aboard, guys. We're testing out this new Simpson Mod Bandit helmet to um, let's see what it's like. First impressions, yeah, quite comfortable. But we are doing only doing about 50, 60 k's. We are going to take it out to the highway. Another thing is the tinted um, the sunglass visor, not quite as dark as what my Nolan was, which is not a real problem. You can buy other tinted visors for it, all different ones, so we'll see how we go with that. Also, just breathing there, a little bit of fog on the shield because it hasn't got a pin lock on it, and I was running the pin lock on the other, on the Nolan. So we're going to take it out to the highway for a bit of a spin and give it a bowl, see what happens with the audio. As of yet I haven't tested Kim with the audio. Now there are quite a few different colours of this helmet, well a few colours of this helmet you can get. So you can have a look on the website. The sizing of them do run a fraction bigger I think than um, what my Nolan runs. So bear that in mind, measure your head. I measured for an extra large. It's, it's a pretty good fit, nice fit, nice and comfortable. Um, just wondering if the pads will loosen up over the time. I might have to get some large pads maybe because it is the same size helmet shell for the large to the, extra, the, to the double extra large. And below large it's a different shell size so all the cheek pads fit. Not much wind about today, the only wind about really is being created by the bike itself and the helmet. Anyway, we'll scoot out to the highway. We'll just lift that helmet up. I'm just speaking normally, sitting, not leaning towards the camera. Just seeing if that front camera picks it up. But that's when I lean in, so we'll just see what happens, eh? I'll get to get that bike out of the way. We're about to come up to 80Ks. So this is a front facing camera towards me to go road 9 as we get up to 80 k's. Aeroplane taking off right there, look at that. We bring you everything on Kimmy Russ Adventures. Okay then, I'll we'll just put the helmet down and we're about to hit the highway. Okay, just turning onto the highway. We'll see what it does at 100 k's. We'll see if we've got some popping or not. It's strange, every new helmet I've had, so I've had to fix it up for the popping of the GoPro and the mics. It takes time to set your ca um, helmet up for your camera and your audio. And it's even harder when you've got two people audio, like myself and Kim in doing. So we're sitting on 100 k's there. And um, we'll just see what that's like. I'm not expecting that to be very good, but I will lean into the GoPro and what's that like, guys? Can you hear me there through the GoPro? That is forward facing towards me. So we're back down to 60k's here now. Back in town, and we're not far from home. So guys, tell us what you think. Comment, share, like, subscribe. Um, let us know what you think of this helmet, of the video, of the audio. The audio might be shit, I don't know. I'll probably have to play with it. Like I said, every new helmet I've ever had, I've had to play with the audio, I should say, for a fair while to try and get it right. I'll just put that... Coming into town, 
I'll just put that visor up and see what we've got there. So this is in 60k zones with the visor up. I'll just see what it's like. So first impressions of this, I love it. Love the helmet. Probably the only issue is going to be setting up my audio properly. Anyway, we'll work on her. So guys, we'll catch you down the road, don't forget. At the moment, wearing that series, roads less travelled, miles of smiles, of our mainland trip in South Australia. Hook on and watch it, guys. We've still got a fair few more episodes to go through yet. Enjoy. We'll catch you on the road, guys.